Hi, this is Robert Kidd from the Tribute team. Um, in this video, we're going to be looking at how to edit a character slot that we've already created with Tribute. So if you watch the Getting Started video, we created a new character to Wrestler ID 104 using Tribute. So in this video, we are actually going to edit that slot. So say we've added a character to 104 and now we want to change that character. Maybe we want to add a new character to it or we just want to change some of the details that we added the first time. So we're just going to walk through this process. So the first thing to be aware of is that the game, it reads some of the character profile information from the roster file in your bake me. So you go in bake me roster char profile char profile table dot roster. So some of the information about your character, such as their name strings in particular, that's quite an important one, are actually read from this file by the game when you launch the game. But a lot of the other details about your character are going to be read from your game save um, slash uh, the live memory of the game. So in other words, when we want to edit our character, we've got to not only edit this file in our roster folder, but we've also got to edit the character's profile in memory. So in the past, people might have used something like Cheat Engine to do this, uh, but Tribute will actually do all of this for you. Um, so we're going to go through both of those uh, features now. So first, we'll look into editing our slot in the roster file itself where we initially created it so we'll load up tribute and for this uh, there are other ways to do this but we're going to be using some of the new advanced features of tribute because um, they're actually probably easier to use because you've got a nice UI and yeah it's nicer to use so let's just do that so go to advanced menu and we're going to go to option three, which is to edit a new slot in roster file. So in Tribute, we distinguish between vanilla slots, which are just the just the wrestler slots that are already in the game, and what Tribute calls new slots, which are, well, new slots that Tribute adds to the game. So that's what we mean by new slot. We mean not a vanilla slot, but one that's been added by Tribute. So it might have been better to call it a tribute slot rather than new slot, but there you go. So yeah, so we'll use option three, edit new slot in roster file. So you'll see a new window open up. Um, so when you're using this feature, we're gonna, tribute is gonna be looking for the char profile table file. So you can't have moved your bake me folder away from the tribute exe because tribute is now going to be looking for that to edit it so if you get some kind of exception error sometimes it is because it can't find the file it's looking for so yeah so so we know that the rest of the idea we're going to edit is the one we added last time which is 104 and if you needed a refresher to remind yourself you could actually look at your save data file and that shows us what we added last time so we added a character and it was wrestler ID 104. We also added, added a tire to Alexa Bliss, but we don't need to worry about that for now. So, so our wrestler ID is 104. I'm just going to hit grab, and that's going to load up whatever information that we've created and stored in our char profile table roster file in Bake Me. So, we hit grab, and this is going to show us everything we inserted last time. So we've got our, so you'll notice that the roster name and the match name strings are the same. This is because when we create a slot with the tribute wizard, it's, it's basically just like a simple wizard. Um, but when we go into more depth in these advanced features, we can actually change these to have a different string for in the roster file and in the match, like in your entrance, nameplate, 
and your HUD in the match. So you can actually, in this edit uh, window, uh, give different strings here, which you couldn't do when you just create the slot for the first time. Um, so the character wizard might be updated in the future to have an option for both of those, but for now it just keeps it simple. I've got your social hash ID again for your um, Twitter handle, um, height, height inches, weight, weight class, fire class. So ring announcer and comment here, we set to zero. And home time ID, it's showing, I thought we'd set that to zero, but let's have a look. We did set that to zero. Hmm. So I'm not sure. Oh, right, yeah, I know. So we set home town ID to zero when we created it. But what Tribute actually does is if you enter zero, it will give you the parts unknown hometown by default. So in game, it should say from parts unknown if you'd enter zero there. That's why it's showing this ID here rather than zero because when Tribute created it, it gave it the parts unknown ID basically. So we could set that to zero now so it so it doesn't say anything at all or we could add in a new one. You know. um, with the hometown ID, Tribute actually comes with a help file that gives you all the IDs for the hometowns and they're short IDs. Um, whereas this is a long form ID, which is coming, you know, it's, all, you, all you need to know is Tribute takes both types of IDs and it will understand both. So you can just enter a short ID from the help file in Tribute and that will be fine, basically. Yeah, don't, don't worry about that. Um, yeah, so say we want to make a change, so I just want to change the height to six or four instead. Then I'm just going to hit insert and what this will do is just update the profile information for slot 104 in our roster file. And that's a new slot edited successfully. So we can close that. And now you will see in your roster file that yes, the time's been updated to the current time and the date modified. So that has been edited. So what we just did is very useful if you want to edit the names of characters because that will definitely be read from the roster file. But now, also in the advanced features menu, we also want to edit the POFO or the profile in memory. So as we said before, a lot of stuff in the character profile is actually read from the game save or from live memory by the game. So you might find even if you edit something in the roster file that you don't see the changes reflected in game and that's because the game is actually reading some stuff from your save so this is why we've got to use the pofo editor to edit the rest of those details so basically if you want to edit a character just make sure you do both edit the roster file and edit the memory and then you're covered on all bases basically so we'll open the POFO editor, option two. And also you'll notice in the POFO editor, we've got a lot more options than you get when you first create the character. So the POFO editor is also a good way just to add further customizations to your character. So you've got on the left, you've got all the usual fields. Then you've got your character's attributes to the right, you've got hit point ratios, uh, crowd reaction, uh, special weapon so that's a cool one where you know you'll notice that some superstars in the game have certain weapons that they grab first so if you reach under the ring they'll they'll pull this out first like um, Pat McAfee will pull a football out so you can do that as well um, then you've got your AI tendencies so you can fill out all these out um, I think they are 0 to 100 for these can't remember exactly now. And you've got your personality traits. You can do there. So the best thing to do, just like with the edit slot, is to load up your POFO first. So grab your POFO. So to use the POFO editor, I should say as well, you have to have your game running in the background and on the main menu. So once your game's running, then you would load up this POFO editor because my game's already running basically. Um, 
so to use your POFO editor, um, your game needs to be running. Um, so my game's already running in the background. So whenever you're gonna use this, you load up your game first into the main menu, and then you would load up the POFO editor. Okay. So with the POFO editor, it this slot ID here, it doesn't actually, it's not the same as your wrestler ID, it's your slot ID. So you have to get uh, the slot ID for the character you've added. So when we created our wrestler on, on a new slot, we had a 104 as a wrestler ID. So we need to get the matching slot ID for 104. So to do that, we actually have to go, if we go into tributes, help files, and we go down to wrestler and slot ID mappings, and that will tell us what the corresponding IDs are. So for wrestler ID 104, the slot ID is 840. So over here, with our game running, we will type slot ID 840, and we're gonna grab the POFO. Yep, so now you see um, all the information loaded up. So this is better, you know, you grab, always grab your POFO first, then it's much easier to fill this stuff in as you can just edit it rather than having to fill in everything from scratch. So here we can just make a change. So say we want to, I don't know, change a special weapon to a football. So we've made our change we want to do, and then we're just going to hit inject POFO. So whenever you grab or you inject, it's always going to do these actions in relation to what the slot ID field is. So if I change this slot ID to 841 and then hit inject POFO, I'm going to inject all this information into slot ID 841, which is wrestler ID 110. So I've just got to always keep in mind what's actually there. Oh, I'm not actually going to hit inject POFO now because that's going to screw up my own game because <laughs> uh, th this is this is um actually no I can't actually yeah uh, I'll do that now wait one sec I think in my game this is a this is the information for Jada Parker mod um by Joe Mashup so I might just give a I don't know uh a shoe to throw <laughs> i'll just give her a shoe to throw yeah then i'll hit inject pofo so pofo injected into memory and now if i hit grab again i can check what's actually in memory so pofo loaded from memory and you can see that the chancla shoe or whatever it is is load it up so it would actually save right so yeah so important to know anything you do in the POFO editor if you want it to stick for the next time you load the game you do need to do a save in game which you can like open up a wrestler and roster change the crowd reaction or something like that in game and just do a save that way all this stuff would be saved and that is pretty much it oh one thing I forgot when I did the edit new slot in roster file before, you just need to remember to bake after after you've used tribute to edit the uh, bake me files. And that's pretty much it. Okay, thank you very much. I'll leave it here.